Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. I hope you're having a great day. I've gone ahead and made a short presentation about niacin, about how and how or if it even helps to create a healthier heart for you and help lower cholesterol levels. I'll quickly go over some reviews about niacin and then talk about um, some facts, some myths, and important health warnings as well. And the whole point of me doing this presentation is I believe there's just so much misinformation online these days, right? You go search on Google, you get a millions of websites. So my goal is to help reduce your confusion and help give you some clarity. So let's get started. The very first question is what is niacin? How effective is it for lowering cholesterol? Uh, niacin is also uh, known as a vitamin B3. Uh, it's it's, it's healthy when used at normal dosages such as 20 to 60 milligrams daily and uh, it's great for energy production and fat metabolism. Now a lot of experts including cardiologists, heart doctors, they are prescribing niacin at very high dosages to help lower the bad cholesterol known as LDL. Now the crazy part is they're prescribing it at 3,000 milligrams daily. Normal dose again is 20 to 60 they're prescribing it at 3,000 milligrams. The question is, does it work? And then second question is, is it even safe at such a high dose? Well, there's been many studies done and over half, in fact, as much as 67% of people that even at 3,000 milligrams of niacin or more of daily use, it doesn't help lower cholesterol levels, okay? So that's one thing I wanna let you know. Additionally, the other form of vitamin B3, which is niacinamide, does not work at all. So this is your very first warning that if you get niacinam niacinamide, don't even bother taking it because it doesn't work. So now the other question is, is niacin a safe alternative to cholesterol lowering drugs? Because obviously, you know, cardiologists are prescribing it. Now, as stated already, 67% of users at even this extreme high dose of 3,000 milligrams a day, which is 150 times higher than the recommended daily allowance, it still does not work. And for those that it does help lower cholesterol, the remaining 33%, most people experience just a ton of side effects, including flushing, right, headaches, and, and, and stomach aches. And in addition to these side effects, you, you have major health problems, and I'll get to in a second, and which is at, at this really high dose, which is why it's only prescribed and should only be used under a doctor's supervision. In fact, at the 3,000 milligram dose, which I said has a lot of potential problems, it's only a prescription drug and under the name of Niaspam. Okay, so this is only doctor prescribed. Now with that said, my second warning to you is that the main problem with the high dose niacin at 3000 milligrams is the chronic toxicity issue that can lead to very serious consequences such as liver damage, diabetes, uh, eye damage, and gout, just to list a few. In fact, many people are just not able to continue taking these levels of niacin due to the discomfort or the danger to the health. And at such a high dose, your body will now create an imbalance to all your other B vitamins and minerals, which then leads to even more problems. Now, the problem is, okay, so you want to use it at, at the lower dosages, which are normal healthy dosage of 20 to 60 milligrams, it does nothing, right? And at the extreme high prescription dose at 3,000 milligrams, for only 33% of the people, it works, it helps lower uh, your LDL for 67% even at the super high dose it doesn't work and then for those who do take it long term it leads to a ton of side effects and liver problems so personally I would never recommend anyone to use niacin for cholesterol reduction so you know the next question is alright what's what's the best solution what's the safest solution of niacin isn't it I'll be honest with you there is no one single ingredient that works hundred percent is effective forever for every single person especially you know and this includes the niacin or any single herb or nutrient now just think about it you just don't eat only broccoli for the best health right you you mix it with other vegetables other forms of vegetables different colors fruits and so forth so that's the same thing in, in life in fact research has shown that there are about a dozen clinically proven natural ingredients that help dramatically improve cholesterol levels far better and 